Rolf Dobelli, The Art of Thinking Clearly. Welcome to the summary of The Art of Thinking Clearly by Rolf Dobelli, where we delve into the world of cognitive biases, illusions, and human irrationality. By understanding how these psychological phenomena influence our thoughts and decision-making, we can become more aware of our own imperfect thought processes. This summary will introduce you to fascinating concepts such as the illusion of control, social proof, confirmation bias, and the paradox of choice, among others. Armed with this knowledge, you will be better prepared to navigate the complexities of life, improve your decision-making skills, and become a more well-rounded thinker. The Delusion of Self-Perception we have a propensity for overestimating our abilities and attributing successes to ourselves while blaming external factors for our failures. Studies show that the majority of people rate their abilities higher than they actually are. For instance, 84% of Frenchmen and 93% of U.S. students consider themselves above-average lovers and drivers, respectively. Similarly, University of Nebraska faculty ranked their teaching abilities in the top quartile. Those who receive bad scores tend to deny responsibility. We must be mindful of our delusions and seek honest feedback from others on our strengths and weaknesses. The Illusion of Control People tend to believe that they can influence things that they cannot control. This illusion of control offers hope during difficult times. Studies show that people can endure more pain when they believe they have control, even if that control is illusory. Placebo buttons, like those at crosswalks or in elevators, create a similar sense of control. People are also overconfident in their ability to make predictions. A study showed that expert predictions were only marginally better than random forecast generators. It's essential to be critical of predictions and focus on things that can be influenced. The Power of Social Proof The book explains the fascinating psychological phenomenon called social proof, which makes us believe that our behavior is correct when it matches that of others. This instinct is rooted in the survival strategy of our ancestors who copied others' actions to ensure their own survival. The more people follow an idea, the better we believe that idea to be. This is called groupthink. We not only do the same things as the group but also change our opinions to stay part of it. The author cites real-life examples, including the downfall of Swissair, which had built a strong consensus about their success that suppressed rational reservations, leading to their demise. This book reveals how social proof affects our behavior, opinions, and decision-making, shaping our daily lives in more ways than we realize. The Mother of All Misconceptions We all suffer from confirmation bias, which is the tendency to interpret new information in a way that supports our pre-existing conclusions. This bias causes us to seek out like-minded communities and filter out opposing information. Examples include perusing news sites that align with our values and accepting external information that matches our self-image. The Forer Effect, where fake personalized assessments were deemed accurate, further highlights this bias. To form more balanced convictions, we must seek out contrary opinions and evidence. The Power of Contrast Effect in Perception the mind often relies on contrasts when making judgments. The contrast effect is a phenomenon that distorts our perception of reality by comparing a stimulus to a previous experience. For instance, we might perceive a product as better value after seeing its initial price was much higher, even though it has no bearing on the actual value. Likewise, we tend to rate the quality of a few scarce items higher than an abundance of things. The contrast effect also affects our perception of attractiveness as we appear less attractive when standing next to a more attractive person. However, one can circumvent these biases by evaluating based on benefits and costs. The Power of Entertaining Narratives The media's preference for entertaining narratives over facts is a reflection of our natural propensity to remember information based on meaningful stories, even if they are abstract. This tendency also affects our beliefs, causing us to prefer exotic explanations over mundane ones. However, this can be dangerous in fields such as medicine, 
where doctors must investigate the most likely ailments first, rather than being seduced by the possibility of an exotic disease. Overall, we need to be aware of our susceptibility to captivating descriptions and prioritize factual information over entertainment. The illusion of attention. Have you ever missed something happening right in front of you? Our focus is very narrow, and we tend to overlook everything that happens outside of it. A Harvard study showcases this illusion of attention, where viewers fail to notice a gorilla pound his chest in the middle of a video while focusing on counting basketball passes. This is why we should never use cell phones while driving. Similarly, what we focus on is influenced by factors outside of our control. The primacy effect makes us focus on first impressions, while the recency effect controls our attention if our impressions were formed in the past. The paradox of choice. In a world with countless options, making decisions can be overwhelming and exhausting. Research shows that too many choices can lead to decision fatigue and ultimately hinder our ability to choose anything at all. This paradox of choice has been demonstrated through experiments on jelly sales and online dating sites. To combat this, it's important to accept that there is no such thing as a perfect decision and instead learn to embrace a good choice. The halo effect. The halo effect causes us to form opinions based on a single quality, such as beauty or social status, which can lead to stereotyping. Good-looking people are often regarded as more pleasant, honest, and intelligent. The effect is present in schools and workplaces, resulting in easier professional lives for attractive people and better grades for good-looking students. However, the liking bias can also distort our judgment, as we tend to like people who are similar to us. These biases are used in sales techniques such as mirroring or flattery, which make the seller appear more likable to the client. The halo effect can be helpful for advertisers but can have negative consequences when used to judge people based on race or gender. Rationality in Decision Making The author challenges the notion of being a rational decision maker by discussing human tendencies to rely on emotions through mental shortcuts that hinder one from making rational decisions. Using the example of genetically modified food, the author explains how emotions guide our assessment of risks and benefits. The author also highlights the impact of emotions on the stock exchange market performance. The author concludes that our emotional reaction to ideas limits our decision-making ability and rationality. As we wrap up the key insights from On the Art of Thinking Clearly, remember that we all have biases and irrational tendencies that impact our decision-making processes. By understanding and embracing concepts like overconfidence, the illusion of control, groupthink, confirmation bias, and the paradox of choice, we can gain a greater sense of self-awareness and subsequently make better decisions. Ultimately, the goal is not to eliminate biases altogether, but rather to recognize them when they occur and adapt our thinking accordingly. By doing so, we can lead more fulfilling and enriched lives, equipped with the mental tools to approach any situation with clarity and insight.